Now, one of the best examples of inelastic supply is uh, housing uh, or real estate general, uh, generally. Uh, what has been found in many different studies is that uh, the supply of housing, especially if you're dealing with a market that is highly regulated, there it becomes more difficult to build new homes. Okay, it's a very time consuming process. And that means that the supply of housing in a very regulated market tends to be highly inelastic. Now, obviously, in the short run, housing is always somewhat inelastic on the supply side because it takes time to build uh, new homes, right, for example. But if in addition to that, you have uh, a very stringent system where it's difficult to get permission to build uh, new dwellings, then uh, this will be even slower. So in general, we can say that a, a, a very regulated housing market will have one of the lowest elasticities of supply that you can observe in any market. So it tends to be extraordinarily inelastic. And there are many real world examples of this. Uh, the opposite would be something like bread or computers, right? Normal consumer goods in general, it's quite easy to increase the supply in response to greater demand, which means that the price is not gonna change much if a good becomes more popular in greater demand all of a sudden because you just you know you just uh, produce more units uh, in the uh, the existing production facilities especially if they are not uh, fully utilized at the moment it's quite easy to expand production